like most of the time that we do music, sometimes you know, you know people tab it and they you know write it out, and that's great. Uh, a lot of times though, it seems like you know the ones you've been people have been shown to us, it's been like close, but no, you know, and that's all right. But one of those things is because I've realized, or we have realized that. A lot of our stuff is a bit too fast for its own. I mean, we're not a fast band, but it's a bit too fast for its own good because it kind of lets the minor details slip sometimes. Like, you're going to see that on Mouth, I guess, too. And if we would have done Concatenation, that would have been the perfect example because that's a song that goes like, you know, people think we play it. You know, like that. Three, like, da, 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 da. It's So that's you know that's the, one of the things where 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 it's like you know you, some de details get lost because it's it's on the record it's like it's not really there and Provis is kind of the same thing because it's it, it, the way they've been tabbing it I think is or alternately. But it's played like this. Go ahead for tempo. A short of. The, you know, that's the whole, it goes round and round, but the, the key ingredient to this is, is the... That's the way it goes. And it goes like... And then you might wonder, why the fuck do you do something that stupid when nobody hears it anyway, and now you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> It goes through a couple of droner riffs towards the end. We first have the like the bridge, which like where the pace of the actual song changes is the second mini bridge, which we were coming from a pretty full-on part that goes. You know the same type of setup that the first the first was but a different pattern, and then it goes into what you were talking about, the... Which is something that was used to actually divide the songs that first have to have it lead into a very intense part and then to lead it out into the rest of the song. So it goes from... into a melody part and then we get into the really droning stuff, which is like, you know, the... You know, goes on like that. And then you, I think that's the part you're talking about. The yeah, one that evolves is... Yeah, so, so that, but it, you know, that's the break me part where both of us fall in and... and Kind of leave that behind and go. And then it goes to the end part. Da yeah. da. Uh, so this, that's the first introduction to it, and then it goes over f full circle, and, and it comes back into. So, you know, 
That's like one of those droning things, and it runs its full course when it really falls naturally into the... leading to the next one, you know? And uh, surprisingly enough, another droning part turns out, and that's the one we played you before the... Which is a fairly basic revolvement of a, of a pretty long, just because it's differing in the tail end, how it like, but it's not a pretty, it's not a hard, complex pattern to follow. And then that all breaks down into the old school thrash metal Tom Bonanza. You know, the bop, 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 which is like something that came about just to like flirt a little bit with the old school, you know, typical, we need this mosh Tom parts. And then that like goes like into the, the reason why the last three riffs are there, which is the... You know, like regular thrash metal ending part, end part, you know. And That's the whole pattern, you know. But it, it, one, once again, it's one of those where it's not really. In reality, that should be like. Yeah. But we're like. Yeah. It's like. And two, three, four. We like playing sparse. Sparse is good. Have you heard ACDC? <laughs> you know?